Fifteen. Oh my God, it's so good to see you here at the Vegas Bash. Thank you. What have you been up to? What are you doing here? Like, are you having fun? I am having a great time meeting my Big Brother family. Isn't it From overwhelming meeting, like just getting out of Big Brother, meeting everyone? It's really overwhelming, but it's overwhelming in a good way, in, in a positive way for me. Us. It's all love. From past Big Brother house guests to my new family. We all I love mean, Luan. I love uh, everybody. I do. And it's been positive for me. Now I have a question. Who was the worst dressed on your season? <laughs> like who had the worst fashion? Let's let's dish a little. I would have to say, and I, you know I love you, boo. Portia. Because she always been wearing jogger suits when I know that. Girl, you can have it going on because when she made herself up right. and, and, and on them live nights, she had it. She, she had it. Sexy and I was like, girl, girl. Don't, I said, girl, you should be wearing bikinis every day, just flaunting it. If I looked like and Portia, Portia, yeah, I would be wearing yeah. bikinis every day. And I was day. like, Portia, she's always having these jogging suits on. I'm like, I know they might be juicy or whatever they are, but let me tell you something. Boo, if I had a body like that, you'd be flaunting oh, it. Oh, I'd be flaunting it. You'd be flaunting it. I'd be flaunting it all night and all day long. Now, tell me about what inspired you with this amazing outfit you know what I can only be me I love vintage wear I mean I try to put things together that I feel that characterizes who I am as a person and when I get up in the morning I just throw things together and it works like my I have a signature of ruffles I mean my shoes and just my style in general is just like it's me and I try to express who I feel how I feel every day and evidently it works because everybody's like I wouldn't wear that, but it works for you, and it only works for you. So that means I am a signature for myself, and that's that's one of the reasons why I think America fell in love with you, as well as all of us uh, Big Brother alum. Thank and you. I want to know: Are you happy with the outcome of Big Brother? I have to admit that I'm mad because I think that the newbies, one of the newbies, should have won because we was at a disadvantage. So. We Obvious. had veterans coming in that had the idea of how to play the game. And, and have like the fan base I mean, behind have them. The fan base behind them. And not only that, it's just the second time doing it. So get your notebook pad out and you know you're going to play the game this summer again. Guess what? You know, play it better you than you did before. You guys were literally like kindergartners with fifth graders and I have throwing to say, balls I, at no, you. No, I'm going to tell you what I have to say and it always piggybacks in my mind. And this is no shout out or anything. Adam from day one told us when we met him and I mean I was just like wow he's like I don't care who walks in this house we gonna all stick together you gotta stick and we gotta stick you together gotta stick. and we did and we did and it was so sad because from day one everybody was spitter spattering like ants and they were fan like frenzy because they know they saw people that they probably admired throughout the game yeah. I'm not gonna lie I mean we all have our favorites and we all it, it happened with us when we all saw Jesse because it was like somebody who played the game and you're like ooh well maybe they know something I don't exactly, know and they can help me exactly but I just feel like that was the best thing he could have told us that first night and we messed up we did we messed up and to be honest with you for Rachel to win she deserves it because you know what she competed she, she she's won. a competitor she, for sure. and she won the Beatles when she needed to and when it was ch chances when she was supposed to be out, when, even when she was up against me, yeah. she should have been out. And we didn't do it. You, and you know what? definitely, you leaving definitely propelled it Rachel. It so. it, it propelled Rachel. Yeah, it propelled and everybody Rachel. always said, oh, Luan, you made the worst move of Big Brother history. I'm going to tell you something. And I'm going to defend myself to the end. I don't feel like I did because you know what? You were doing you and being I true was, to you. I was being true to me and I didn't do it by myself because they didn't have to put me up. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Yeah. And so I just thought, everybody would say, you made the worst move of Big Brother history. And it makes me angry when I hear that because it's like, you don't know how you are when you're in the house. No, you have you no step idea. Foot in that house. It's so easy to watch and judge, but when you're living it and it's your reality for the moment, it's all rolls out the window. You go with what you feel. And you think about when we were in the house, and all of a sudden the doorbell rings. And we already knew when we got in the front door. I mean, we was on the front porch. We saw only eight people. I said, "Oh, summer's about to go down." Oh yeah. And oh, so, yeah. We, and so when we saw the veterans coming in, it was done. Luan, let the fans know where they can follow you. What's your Twitter? My Twitter is Mr. You Are Not Ready. I don't follow know, me on Twitter. I don't know if Vegas is ready for this handsome five. Ah! Man! Ah, no. I absolutely love you. The fans love you. You were a delight 
on this season, Thank and you. I am so happy you're part of the family now. Thank you, sweetie. Love you! <laughs>